What happens to our body if we go vegan for one month? Let's face it, we all have that burning desires to indulge in delicious things every now and then. Of course, I'm talking about the milk, bacon, cream, chicken, grilled cheese and more. But what if you decide to give up these super tasty goodies? More like quitting the sweets and making a big switch to the plant-based lifestyle? Ever considering doing this? If so, you are not alone. Today many people have taken the big step to try out the vegan diet for their health and a few other reasons. Of course, going vegan is also great for animals and our plant as a whole. Pretty sure you get the point. Well, if you are actually considering going vegan, I will recommend you to get a better idea what it feels like to make the big switch. Of course, there are quite a few of compelling benefits to plant-based diets. But you should know that the diet can be a bit difficult to follow. In essence, it's not necessarily easy to switch and stick to the vegan way. Still interested? If so, you are awesome. In this video, I'm going to let you in what to expect in your first 31 days without meat, dairy and every delicious things in between. Note, it's going to be based on my personal experience. Let's dive in. Week 1 During the first week of your transition, there's a good chance of trying to figure out how to eat properly. In other words, your diet will be over the place. Personally, I wasn't eating enough fruits and veggies and sometimes I end up filling up with high fat foods, say nuts and more. Yes, this is the one of the most common mistakes newbies are likely to make. So take note. As the week went by more like towards the end, I started feeling more tired than usual. Following this change, I decided to decrease fats and increase my portion sizes. Well, to be honest, the change didn't really affect how tired I felt. Week 2 Moving forward, the body weakness followed me into the start of the second week. But the good news is, I started regaining strength as time flew. More like towards the end of the week, and this leads to it another uncomfortable side effect you are likely to experience gas and bloating trust me mine was super annoying but the good thing is these symptoms are a normal part of the transition in essence it's just a way of your body adapting to all the fiber you are consuming as you probably expected the bloating got better after a few days and by the end of the second week Pretty much everything was gone. I also think it's great to let you know on how I fell in love with my visits. In fact, it feels like my taste buds changed as I turned vegan. Right now, I can't seem to get enough of roasted pumpkin, mushrooms, broccoli, potato, red peppers, and more. Who knows? You might feel the same way too. Week three. Here's the thing. My third week of Veganism was awesome. Right first of the bloating was completely gone and I no longer felt weak and tired. What's more, getting out the bed was no longer a chore. It became easier than I expected. Week 4 Yes, as I said before, my third week was awesome but trust me, the fourth was super. I literally fell in love with my skin. The glow was amazing. The change in my diet had a great impact on my skin. My complexion became clearer than it has been in years. So basically, those with skin issues are likely to love their skin after going vegan. That's just how it is. And finally, I actually lost some weights off. But of course, the results weren't immediate. The big idea here is that plant-based options are lower in calories than meat, grilled chicken chicken, bacon, and more. Pretty sure you get the point. All in all, losing weight as a vegan depends on what and how much you eat. The big secret is to stick with balanced and healthy choices. It's not going to be easy, but trust me, it's totally worth it. So what do you think? Do you feel veganism is for you? There's no doubt that full-time vegan lifestyle can be a bit difficult to adopt, but Based on all the benefits, I think it's worth giving it a shot. Stay healthy.
In the meantime, you can leave some comments below about this video. If you like the video, give it the thumbs up and share with your friends and please subscribe to our channel.